So one of the um, things that I heard people asking for actually in ProPresenter 7.3 was the ability to do new things with the stage display. Like, for example, show what verse the uh, worship team was singing or show how many slides are left. And before ProPresenter 7.4, that eh, was easier said than done. But now they've made it just remarkably easier. And so I want to show you how to do it right here. So if we go into screens and then under stage to edit layouts, I've already got a blank layout here, but if you need one, you just click this little plus button right up next to layout and that'll give you another layout. Um, and when you do that, you've got some presets. Just for this one, I'm going to go with this brand new uh, preset called Presentation Info and Progress. So let's click on that, and you'll notice that you've got a lot of information here. So let me go through what each of these is. So we've got current slide text, next slide text. That's not new. What is new is right here off to the side, the group here. So here, let me um, remove this. And you'll notice that basically it's a text box that's filled with the group color and it's showing the current slide. So that's pretty cool. And you can see this one is filled with the group color and it's showing the next slide, which correlates with the next slide text. Now, um, if you wanted to show the next item in your playlist, look down here, playlist item name. So we can fill that with the color and over here in text, I should have mentioned that earlier. So you do need to link the text to the group of the current slide there or and this one is next slide and this is the current playlist item so it shows you that so um, those are a couple of things I've got the current playlist item name and the next playlist item name so that would tell my worship team for example we're singing Amazing Grace right now, and our next song is Fairest Lord Jesus. So that's uh, valuable information. Now up here we have a slide count, the remaining slides. Again, in the shape, you can fill it with a color, or going back into text, you can select linked text and the slide count is one of your many choices down here and here we have total slides so slide count total is right there so that tells us how many remaining slides we have and how many total slides we have so that would be very helpful for a uh, the pastor, for example, to know, oh, okay, I'm halfway through my message versus, oh, I've still got um, most of my message left to go. So that could be a helpful item as well. But those aren't the only ones that are um, linked here in ProPresenter 7.4. So let's go through some of the other linked text that they've added in. Um, so we've got slide objects those are the ones that are already on the slide so less helpful right there necessarily but current slide next slide that's new that's been there for a while timers that's been there system clock that's been there uh, text ticker does not work currently so don't get excited if you've been waiting for that one. I'm sure that it's on their to-do list, but, you know, COVID happened. So that uh, messed with some of the priorities. But text ticker is uh, another one that once that's enabled, sometime in the future, you'll be able to do that. 
stage message if you need to send a message to the stage that's been there but uh, that's where you add that video countdown if you're playing a video that'll give you a countdown of how long is left in the video uh, group we've looked at earlier slide count we looked at earlier uh, playlist item capture that will tell you if you are currently recording within ProPresenter or live streaming from within ProPresenter. So that's a very helpful little item as well. Uh, audio Auto advance time, if you've got slides that are auto advancing, how much longer is left in those? Um, and then, of course, operator notes. Operator notes isn't new as well. So that's been in there since uh, ProPresenter 7, I believe. So that's just all the new little features that we have added to our stage display so that you can provide even more information. And of course, you can create multiples of these and have those change automatically with an action. So you really have a lot of power with ProPresenter 7.4.